We literally just woke up and headed out to our balcony to see, you know, what's going on. They have fancy drinks. Where? For the fancy oh. people. I think what's happening is we're gonna eavesdrop on some sort of like pinnacle event. I'm hoping we're not pinnacle, so like normally wouldn't be able to see this, but because our balcony is right here, we're gonna eavesdrop on this super secret event. I think it's super cool. Obviously, you know, we're not gonna get the cool drinks, but uh, we get the cool information. And um, I'm thinking it's a pinnacle event because everyone is old. Sorry, people, but that's how it is. We're gonna be the first young people to be pinnacle. Yeah. Is that offensive? Anyway. It's day three, and as you can see, it's a day at sea. As you can see. S-E-A. This is my formal apology to all the old people. <laughs> Carrie said I was too offensive. Listen. Hey, I don't, I, I have nothing against old people. I think they're great. Honestly, we prefer doing a trip with people who are older than us rather than people that are our age. So I think, yeah. We're young at heart, but we're also old at heart. I oh, think. absolutely. If I had to judge my age based on my personality, probably like 60. I'm probably like 55. All right. No, no, I want to be 65 so I'm eligible for like the early vaccines. <laughs> I just want the AARP card. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of cool. Yeah. So this is uh, kind of exactly what we thought it would be. It's like behind the scenes info. It's like behind the scenes stuff and then they're also doing like segments of the Aqua show. We're getting some cool information. So there's 70 Pinnacle members here. There's one guy, the top cruiser. I didn't even know this was a thing. This guy's top cruiser. He has 3,900, was it? 970 or something like that? Three, almost 4,000 points. That's insane. Another cool thing they just said is that there's 2,000 crew on board and a little over 2,000 guests. So it's almost like one-to-one -one for crew and guests. That's crazy. What's funny is people are always like, Brian Carey, how do you guys cruise so often? And it's like, listen to these people who have like 3,000 points. How do they cruise so often? Yeah. Obviously, they're probably retired, but still. It's really cool that we can just like totally crash this event from our balcony and like, we're not really supposed to be here. We're getting this information that they don't want us to know. But eventually, we'll be invited. Of course. I'm going to be top cruiser. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe? Maybe I'll marry that guy, steal his status, and then divorce. <laughs> yeah, they're giving awards for like top cruiser and stuff. I didn't know this was a thing. We kind of slept in this morning, which is not a bad thing. So the first thing we're going to be doing today really is going to the Windjammer for lunch. Which I'm excited for because we actually have not gone to the Windjammer yet on this cruise. Yeah. I'm excited to see how the um, Oasis class Windjammer compares. Agreed. So we're going to be some of the first to eat lunch here. We're going to rope drop it. They're not ready just yet. So we're sitting here with empty plates. <laughs> but it's going to be nice and fresh. Yeah. It looks like it's the same um, setup as Quantum Class, which looks great. We love that. It's not just one big line. But Fei food never really like looks good on camera. It tastes good, though. I got a chicken fajita and a Caesar salad. The presentation on the plate is never yeah. like, good. But yeah, it's I got fine. I'm starting with some chicken and fries. We have great weather right now. It looks really nice out. It's nice and hot. It's like, what was it, like 80 degrees? So after we eat lunch, we're gonna go to the uh, singles uh, get together and we're gonna pretend that we don't know each other and that we just happen to like really hit it off. That's, I'm, I'm not, just, that's not gonna happen. I'm kidding. That was Carrie's idea. But how funny would it be if we actually did that? I actually hit it off with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> we go in thinking that it's gonna be a joke between us and then like, you end up leaving me. What we're actually gonna do is like go to the pool for a few hours after this. We found another um, viewfinder thing. I don't really know what this is. It's like a weird building. Oh, Walt Disney Concert Hall, Los Angeles. Well, I guess I'm That's not a cool. real fan despite my shirt. Oh my God. <laughs> it's windy. 
really breezy out. So, I mean, this weather is great though. I love it. I, it's actually really nice with the breeze and the- Yeah, honestly, the like a good heat with a nice breeze is ideal. Yeah, so we're gonna scout out our spot now. Okay, looks like we're going with this one. We're loving this spot here. It's the perfect weather. There's literally not a cloud in the sky, like 80 degrees probably. And the captain even said it was like kind of chilly in Florida right now, like in the 50s or something like that. So, glad to be here. Yeah. We have both thoroughly enjoyed our spot here for a couple of hours. I think we're gonna go check out the Wipeout Grill, Wipeout Bar, Wipeout something. Cafe. Yeah, we're gonna hope to get some like french fries or something snacky. You know what's funny is that we slept in and we slept for like 12 hours last night and now I just fell asleep. Wow. That's so weird. It's all about relaxation, catching up on those Z's. It's Wipeout Cafe. I got it right. It is Wipeout Cafe. So this is basically french fries, hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza, ice cream. We really needed this. I liked it in there too. It had like a little bit of everything. There was like pizza from Sorrento's and like, you know, little hot dogs. There was even ice cream in there. There was ice cream, there was a soda fountain. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. And I think it was open from noon to six. So like, Windjammer's closed right now. And this is our second lunch. Obviously. And I got um, a hamburger and uh, cheese fries, which I'm very excited about these cheese fries. Brian has just dubbed this the best meal he's had so far on Allure of the Seas. It's true. And I know it doesn't make any sense. It does not. But Sabor is second place. Please ignore my cheese fingers. <laughs> and yes, we moved to the shade because it's hot in the sun. It is hot. We just walked up to this place. We weren't really expecting anything. The burger's really good and the cheese fries are really good. It's just like, just the fact that we just walked up, got it, we weren't really expecting much and then we're sitting outside and it's just really good and nice out. It's just, this is my favorite meal so far. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Expectations can definitely uh, like help with, with your rating. Carrie was just saying like, we haven't really seen many other cruise ships out here. And there's this website, cruisemapper.com. It's really cool. You can literally see like on the globe of every ship, not just cruise ships, but you can filter it by cruise ships. Like, I found where we were and we're passing Turks and, Turks and Caicos right now. Wow. But it's just really cool. Like we can see like, so this is where we are. It's not too far down over there. Yeah, can't see it though. We can't see it, which I'm actually surprised that we can't see it. But then like the next closest ship is the like Sky Princess or something. So this is a really cool website. But it's cool. Now we're gonna see if we can find the like uh, lookout area above the bridge. We uh, saw it from the solarium the other day and we didn't really understand how to get there, so now we have to find it. Yeah, it doesn't seem accessible from the solarium, which is weird. Looks like you have to go down a floor and then out. Okay, so we came down to 14, sun deck. That way. I think deck 14 has all of the like kid stuff on it too. So this is where you should be. Exactly, based on my height. <laughs> so it seems like we're going down a hallway where like rooms are. Yeah. This is a secret thing. This would be a cool place to have your Room. Yeah. Okay, this is it. This is cool. Cool. Wow, this is crazy. I think on Oasis they turned this area into rooms. Which actually kind of makes sense. And I support that decision now. Yeah. There's the helipad. We need to find out how to get there. I couldn't figure it out. It almost seems like it's not... We're gonna find out. We're gonna do everything we have to to get there. Okay. There's a bird, so we must be close to land. Is that what that means? Land ho. Or he's just like chill out with us. I don't know. This is cool. I didn't realize that Oasis class had this feature. I thought it was just quantum class. Well, not all Oasis class ships have this. Okay. Because like on Oasis, this is a room. Oh, that's like that all glass room, right? Yeah. Like literally we're, we're standing like this would be a bed right here. And yeah. it's like windows and all around. Windows all around. You don't have a balcony. You just have windows. But yeah, we want that room. Maybe. I don't know. There's no balcony though. Um. So we're heading back to our room to shower after spending the day at the pool. And we gotta stop at Starbucks first. But I just noticed how like, and I noticed, I noticed this before too, like the promenade is so sunny because of Central Park. It's very light and bright and airy in here. It feels so much bigger and just, yeah. it's just so much nicer getting the natural sunlight. I agree. It's really cool. There, I said it again, cool. 
I can't stop saying it. Awesome. There it is, the sky and all its glory. This promenade is awesome. It's gorgeous. My mom said it looked like a city street. It really does look like a city street because you have like the buildings here with the windows. You have a dog right there. You have a cat in the window. Oh. Eating something above the jewelry store. I didn't even notice that. This says on this corner, this facade of the store was inspired by buildings in New York City. Your family is like carnival, like a carnival family. How are you going to convince them to do royal? They've actually done royal before, and they said it was nothing greater than carnival, so why should they pay more? That's a very controversial statement. They haven't done Oasis class, though. They didn't notice any difference. Okay, people, start writing your comments now. Even though we're in a boardwalk balcony, we're getting a ton of natural light into our stateroom. What? Those people are using their phones to play a game with the posters. Oh, really? Yeah. We have to go do that. We're gonna have to go do that. It looks like some sort of like AR game. Yeah, which okay. you would love that. Yeah, we're gonna have to check that out. Yeah, I, I love this room though. I'm, I'm shocked at the view of the ocean from here. And again, there's no slide. So... I really think specifically for a lore of the seas, you should do boardwalk. Yeah, I would say that too. Yeah, and I have no idea how much the slide would block here because um, I haven't seen what it's like from a balcony when there's a slide, so who knows? Maybe it's not that bad. We got dressed for dinner. Before we head to dinner, though, we're gonna go check out that game on the posters that we saw from our balcony. You should mention it is formal night tonight, um, but we're going to Samba Grill, so we yeah. are playing it a little more casual. Yeah, and I, I literally don't know what the dress code is at Samba. No. And I hope that they don't have formal night when the main dining room is formal night. I have no idea though, so. We'll find out. Okay, here they are. It's a little dark out. Hopefully it still scans. Let's see. Show me where is you it, go in the app. So there's a little game thing here. Okay. And then of course we're gonna have to do the duck one first. Obviously, the ducks come first. Okay, so it says point your camera at the poster to start okay, the game. Okay, do it. Here's the poster. What are you doing? Describe it. I'm, sh I'm killing bears, okay? Wow, that's violent. Duck, duck, bear. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. If you look, if you look down, there's actually ducks. Ducks, duck, duck, bear. Okay, so there's more to this than I thought. This is wow. way more complex than we initially thought. Okay, I got 1,200 points. Okay, can you beat that? Well, we're gonna try the other games. Okay. Go, go, gopher. Go, go, gopher. Okay, this is whack-a-mole. Nice. This is cool because they're like boardwalk games. Okay, but how many hammers do I have? How is that possible? <laughs> this is the last game, I think. So I'm spraying balloons with water. That's fun. Okay. What's it called, though? And I'm spraying a, the, um, a blimp. Because that's a balloon, too. And a hot air balloon. Splish, splash, soak. So every type of balloon ever known to man, I'm soaking in. Good. I can hardly tell what the purpose is. Are you trying to pop? I think I'm trying to pop the, the blimp. I don't think you're doing a great job at it, if I'm honest with you. That's you kind of violent. aiming for the target, and you kind of... Okay, well, I, got a, I broke a thousand points. Oh, okay. Well, wait, what's that last one say? Coming Green soon. toss, coming soon. That's very intriguing. They want you to cruise again. Yeah, and that's what's going to make me do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can I eat food now? Carrie was very upset that I wanted to play this game before we went to dinner, but see, it didn't take that long. Yeah, but okay, so our dinner reservation is at 6.15 for Samba Grill. It's 5.55. Mamma Mia starts at 8.15. According to our reservation, Samba Grill is supposed to take us until 8.15, and I can't have that. I have to go to Mamma Mia, so we had to arrive at Samba Grill early, and we're not. We're not going to. They're probably not even open yet. That's probably true. See you at Samba Grill. So there's been a lot of buzz about Samba Grill. We, we don't really know what it is. Um, we've never been to one, obviously, but people on the Facebook group for this sailing are going crazy. Raving about it. it. I've heard that it's like a Brazilian steakhouse. Yeah, that's what it, it sounds like. It sounds like a Brazilian steakhouse. It sounds like Texas Day Brazil or... What's the other one called? Like Fogo de Chao or something? I've never been to any of those, so I don't know. But, but we'll see. I'm excited. So the, it's uh, in the solarium. Show the menu. So, so I think it's just, oh yeah, it says Brazilian Steakhouse. Okay. Oh, so there's all the meats that you get, but. Here we go. Here we go. First of all, it looks pretty cool in here. We have the water off to the side there. Um, and then there's the salad bar 
which we can serve ourselves. Yeah. Um, but then the other thing is we're going to get meat. And so this is like a, a stoplight indicator. So red means no more meat. Don't bring any meat to our table. And green, which we're going to flip to green right now, because yeah. I don't want any salad. Um, is that's so that means they're gonna start bringing meat to us yeah like seven she's did you say seven different there's meats? seven different meats and um, i think they're like out of one or two i couldn't exactly catch which ones they were but they're just gonna bring it to us and like apparently they're gonna go through all seven and then like we can repeat whichever ones we've liked yeah just bananas it's cool it's a cool concept so i don't think we're gonna have any trouble getting to our show because they well kind of like we can go at our own pace yeah that is cool like the green and the red it helps you like I'm done. I'm good. I'm good. And we got huge wine glasses of soda. Which I, I like. It helps me feel fancier when I don't drink. Yeah. <laughs> so they've started bringing the food. This is chicken wrapped in bacon. Chicken wrapped in bacon. And then so they also gave us some appetizers. We have like fried banana and pinata type of thing, a rice type of thing, fried yuca or something. Like that. I didn't hear what that one was, but yeah, I think you're right. And then also bread. Yeah, we got cheese bread. And then... Can I just say, I think this meal costs like $15 per person. Like it's, I think it costs next to nothing. And it seems like you're getting a lot for it. Yeah, okay. And then they we have sauces for all of our meats. So we have this sauce for white meat, this is for red meat, and that's for like any meat. Yeah. This is really cool. I love this so far. I haven't even really eaten much of anything, and I love it. Wow. All right. Chimichurri suggested. Okay. Thank you. Wow. This is so amazing. By the way, every restaurant needs this. Oh my god. For if you need to get the attention of your waiter. In the main dining room, like if we could just be like, we're done, that'd be so helpful. Yeah. Like, we need our food now. <laughs> or like, oh, I need some water or something, yeah, anything. Yeah. So far, this meal is amazing. I'm currently of the opinion of like, why would you go to Chops when you could come here? Yeah, we just got um, filet. And then what was this other steak that we pulled off? I want to say it's like a skirt steak. Yeah, and then they just brought some vegetables for some reason. But I actually am going to try some of them. <laughs> to, to help it, uh, all the meat go down, I guess. Yeah, this is a dangerous <laughs> meal. Oh my god, I feel like we're both going to be sick afterwards, but in a good way. <laughs> I think we're perfectly dressed, by the way. So, price is averted with that. I agree. Time for our dinner question. Brian, can you answer, why is it that we call our towel animals Gus? Yeah, this is a question a lot of people have asked. Um, we did answer this in our Adventure of the Seas Cruise Day 6 video. Correct. When I was on a cruise as a kid with my family, um, we came back to our room one night, had a towel animal, and there was a note with our room number. My dad thought the room number was, uh, it, that it said Gus. And so he thought the towel animal's name was Gus. It was like G-U-S-S, -S, but I think your stateroom was like yeah. 6355 or something like that. Yeah, something like that. and. Um, it was just really funny and it stuck. So my family has called it that ever since, so. It's lived on. And now people have commented and said like, I'm gonna start calling my towel animals Gus too. And I love and that. I, I absolutely love it. People say like, is it okay if I call, call it Gus too? And it's like, absolutely. Please. We love if you call it that. Like, yeah. Because they do need a name. Absolutely. Yeah, so the moment where this happened um, is on home video and we put it in our Adventure Day 6, um, video on YouTube so you can go watch that should we put young it, Brian we could put it in this video would that be or we could just create a new video that is just Gus no okay well my sister's filming it and by the way the way she films the video it's like it's like she was made to be a youtuber like this was before YouTube existed the way she's filming it, she's like okay guys we're back in our room and it's like it's just crazy to think that she was recording like that. It runs in the family. Runs in the family. Wait, should we put it in this video like right now? Yeah, let's put it in the video right now. Okay, right now. Here's the home video from 15 years ago. No. No, like 18 years ago. Rolling. Yes. All right, well, we came back it. to our room and we found this alligator. He's a, he's a rare alba albino alligator. <laughs> he's a man of towels. That's cute! Nick That's so came baby. with a note. Gus. No, it says our room number dork. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it said Gus. <laughs> <laughs> 
What a <laughs> dork. Don't let me loose on the crap table. Whoa. <laughs> It says, Dear Gus, welcome aboard. <laughs> My name is Gus. <laughs> Gus the alligator. Okay. So we've had each meat now, each of the seven meats. Yeah. The picanha, amazing. I liked the filet mignon. I liked the picanha, the ribs, and then the chicken. And then all these sauces were also incredible. It's like a salsa, a chimichurri, and then that also kind of tastes like a salsa, but I'm not sure what it is. This might be the best I specialty agree. restaurant. I agree. Why is it only on the ship? I don't know. I can't think of anything that would beat this. Like, Azumi is really good. Like, maybe the pizza. It's like, it's hard to compare pizza to steak. Oh yeah, Giovanni's is good. Yeah. It's so tough. But I really like this. This is really good. You have your sleeve in your oh meat right now. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah, this probably looks disgusting because it's just remnants of our seven meats. Because, like, here's the thing you bring out seven meats, and it's like you can't eat all of it. So you would you die. Like half of each one. So, hopefully, it doesn't look rude, but, like, they were amazing. Yeah. I'm blown away. Okay, so now they sliced off some grilled pineapple for us. I can't even describe how good this smells. What's on it? It's like cinnamon. It's like brown sugar cinnamon, I think. Wow. I'm impressed. Okay, also, um, you lied to the public. Oh, I did. This is, it's $30, not $15. So that's like double what I said. Okay, but it's still... It's cheaper video. than some of the other places. Yeah. I I literally thought that the pineapple was dessert. <laughs> and then they were like, do you want more dessert? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. So we both got this chocolate thing and it's so good. There's like chocolate lava, not lava, something in the center. It's great. You can't go wrong with Sound the Grill. Believe the hype. The hype is real. This place is great. We finished our meal. By the way, we have plenty of time to catch the show, so someone was freaking out over nothing. You know what? I'm just very time conscious. And you know why we have so much time? It's because we were able to choose our own speed at the restaurant yes. with that like red light, green light card. And you get food immediately. You don't have to order anything because they just start They just bring food. it out. I love that. Yeah. I think we both are saying like, this is the only specialty dining that like blew our minds. Yeah. And so for that reason, I think it's our favorite. It's mind-blowingly good. It is, it's so good. By the way, the pools are like, I mean, the pool deck, it, it, nobody's here. This is the time to come. I know everyone's at dinner now, but. I kind of feel like we should go for like a hot tub dip tonight. Yeah, we. the ship really feels deserted right now. I can't think of another meal that we've had that's been that mind-blowing to us. Yeah, like, like the pizza at Giovanni's is good and Izumi is good and it's not like I'm like saying like, oh my God, don't go to those places. But it's just like this place is just mind-blowing. Why don't they have it on other ships? Mamma mia, here we go again. Okay, we're excited for this. This is really the first like musical show that we're gonna see that has like dialogue hopefully. I am so pumped I'm like a Broadway aficionado and I I love ABBA I love Mamma Mia I'm excited to see a musical on board Royal Caribbean that has dialogue so let's go this is the Amber Theater it's not the Royal Theater forget everything you thought you knew about the Royal Theater this is our first time in the Amber Theater here it looks pretty cool so far. It does. I see a set. So here's what the theater looks like. I think it looks pretty cool. By the way, if I can make it through this show after that meal that we just had, then I can do anything. I have seen Mamma Mia the musical as well as Mamma Mia the movie. Where did you see the musical? Um, Columbia, South Carolina when I was at school there. Okay, go Cox. Go Cox. Um, but you have not seen it, and you have many interesting ideas about what it is. I gave you one well, hint that you should think about why they're saying Mamma Mia. But you said something about Sophie. I did. So I think she's going to have to be the main character, but I don't know who Mia is. Okay, well I look forward to hearing your thoughts once this is over. I'm going to be sad if there is no Mia. Or no Mom. We're about to find out. Because then this whole thing is a scam. Right. There is an intermission. Yeah, I find that interesting. It's a 15 minute intermission. They warned us. We've never seen that before on a Royal Caribbean ship. But we did, um, we like made a friend on our last cruise, someone that like worked in entertainment and he was 
spilling the tea and he said was it cats yeah it was cats he i think said, he said the people like left at intermission yeah he said like they would do cats intermission happened and then everyone left and nobody would come back for the second part cats is just not the right musical mama me i don't think that'll happen before i'm worried that i'm gonna want to leave at intermission well then i'll see you later because no. i'm sticking around here we go again yep okay we're at intermission so brian gets you know the gist of the musical now turns out it's about an orphan who doesn't know an orphan or who her father is and she's trying to find who her father is before she gets married. She's not an orphan. She has a mom. What do you think so far? I think the woman playing Donna is really, really good. She's Donna's Sophie's mom. And she, I like was reading all the credits beforehand. She's the only one that's like been on Broadway. And she played um, like Amber in Hairspray. And she played Sharpay in High School Musical. And it shows and I think that's great and they do a really good job with like the dancing and the dialogue and like I've been feeling like nostalgic and like I want to be up there doing that and I feel like that's how you know that they've been doing a good job I wonder how many people are actually going to come back after the intermission it is long it's certainly like most shows that we've seen are like 30 to 45 minutes yeah for real and this is long. It's been an hour so far. I'm guessing there's an hour more. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Okay, what'd you think? I thought it was great. I really, um, when the lady who played Donna sung The Winner Takes It All, I was just like, wow. You screamed. Away. I did, because she did a great job and she deserved to scream. There was a, a joke of like one of the dancers, like, she like fake like pulled a muscle while she was dancing and she's like, oh, I pulled a muscle, I'm getting old or whatever. And that joke killed with this audience. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's, that goes with this audience. I would say that was the best like show we've seen on a cruise though. Absolutely, I feel like the Oasis class has all the good shows. You know, I'm not the biggest ABBA fan, but could you imagine if they made like a Taylor Swift musical based off like her songs? Someday in the future they could. And I think they will. Time to see if we have a Gus waiting for us. Here he is. It's the rabbit. It is. This is the second most common Gus. <laughs> That's all right. At least he used my sunglasses this time. Yeah. And we got a cruise compass. I think tomorrow is St. Thomas, isn't it? So as you can see, we're almost to St. Thomas, which we're going to be there all day tomorrow. We don't actually have an excursion booked, but there's like a cool, uh, what would you call it? funicular no it's a gondola a gondola how could you i'm sorry <laughs> of the mountain and then there's like a cool place to eat up there and so we're just gonna kind of do saint thomas on our own we'll see you there in our next video we arrive in saint thomas we take a ride up to the top of a mountain and then we head back on board for a ride up to central park